Hello and welcome back, and today we're doing another video where I customize a toy. This is the Soldier Force Military Robot Playset made by Chap May. These have been turning up in Dollar General stores in the US for the cost of $15. My friend Will over at Wilhelm Toy and Hobby is running a contest for people to customize this particular toy. I've got something special in mind for this, so I thought I'd throw my hat into the ring and see how I do. And I'll be releasing this video just before the results of the contest come in. I will link to Will's channel in the description of this video, so you can go to his channel, check out the results, and see how I did. This military robot is a pretty simple figure. You have the arms that can go back and forth, and the legs can go up and down. He's got a buzz saw on this arm that can flip back and forth. There's a gun attachment on this arm, and he's got a cockpit that can seat a three and three quarter inch or possibly four inch figure. There are also electronic lights and sounds built in. Pretty simple construction, should be easy enough to pull apart so I can repaint it. The entire mech was only held together by four tiny screws. That's it. Once those four screws came out, everything fell apart very easily. Here's all the parts that I'm going to paint. And to paint these, I'm gonna use my trusty Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover, which bonds the plastic. Same paint I used on my bullet man plane project. I was hoping to get the black connectors out of the arms and legs, but I don't think I'll be able to because these are pressed in to the plastic. And I applied some heat to these to try to loosen one up and get it out, but it wasn't budging and I don't want to break them. So I'm just going to have to work around that. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. All right, I'm out in the backyard on a nice breezy autumn day. Let's start with the painting. Hopefully this is going to work. There's a bit of a breeze out here, but I want to work in a well-ventilated space. Start with the red. said in my bullet man video I'm gonna just give these some quick hits so the paint doesn't cool up on the parts and make a mess and I'm probably gonna give these several coats to get that red nice and opaque so now I have these two body parts which are going to be painted with the blue So the spray painting is done and everything is reassembled. I've gone in with my trusty painter's silver marker, paint marker, and I've given it some detail along the saw blade, some of the black parts, the rivets, along the legs here. I color it in the claw on the hand. And on this side as well, adding silver along the gun Again, along the red parts of the arms and legs, up on the black here, just to give it some color. On that weapons array there, I added some plastic stickers, like little uh, jewel stickers that little girls would use to bedazzle something. So I bedazzled my mech. And on the top lights here, and on the side here, I added some puffy stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree. Also added a little bit of uh, sticker striping on the arms and some more of those jeweled stickers on the tips of those guns. Also added some stickers to those big front leg plates. What could that number possibly mean? And finally, I added a few 
special logos to the mech. So what is it exactly that I have created? This is the jet-powered overland gyroscopic ground electronic rover, otherwise known as the Justice Jogger. So a brief explanation. Will and I have a mutual friend that runs a channel here on YouTube named Grindhead Jim. Jim got back into toy collecting several years ago, and one of the lines he really wanted to collect was the original Kenner Superpowers series from the 1980s. When he was naming off pieces of the line that he really wanted to collect, I'm not sure if I'm the one that first said it, I think I am, but I'm going to take credit for it. I asked, but Jim, what about the Justice Jogger? The Kenner Superpowers Justice Jogger is notorious for being one of the goofiest vehicles created for any toy line ever. It was basically a wind-up pair of legs with a seat on it that Superman could ride in. It was stupid looking, it made no sense. Why would Superman, the most powerful man on Earth, who could fly anywhere, need a giant pair of robot legs. The Justice Jogger is one of those toys where if you're a completist on a vintage toy line, you kind of buy everything else in the line, and then when you get down to that last piece, you're like, mm, do I really need it? I don't think Jim has any intention of getting a Justice Jogger, but being the ball buster that I am, when he's in a chat talking about his toys, I always like to bring up, but Jim, what about the Justice Jogger? And some of our other friends have kind of jumped on the bandwagon, posting the hashtag Justice for the Jogger whenever the subject comes up. When I saw this chap named Mech with his giant robot legs, the first thing that came to mind was, what if this were an updated Justice Jogger? One that actually made sense. So here's my backstory for this version of the Jogger. Superman, the last son of Krypton, has become a symbol of truth and justice not only on Earth, but throughout the galaxy. His presence in times of danger and strife both comforts and inspires people. But even the Man of Steel has his limitations. The Jogger Mech is a joint project between Wayne Enterprises and Cord Industries, with contributions from many of Superman's friends and allies from across time and space. The Jogger allows Superman to operate in environments where his natural powers would otherwise be rendered useless. Although the Jogger has many of the same features as Superman's Supermobile, the mech suit allows Superman more mobility in different environments. The features of the Justice Jogger are as follows. A cockpit lined with a lead alloy with special shielding to protect Superman from the effects of kryptonite and red sun radiation. A heads-up tactical display that can simulate Superman's telescopic as well as X-ray vision. A double saw cutter, crafted from nth metal, donated by Hawkman of Thanagar. This blade can cut through almost any known substance. Twin-mounted rapid burst energy projectile weapons, designed by Green Lantern John Stewart. An onboard triage unit that includes a purple healing ray, donated by the Amazons of Themyscira. A plasma concussion cannon, developed by Brainiac 5 of the Legion of Superheroes. This cannon is effective against level 10 physical threats, such as Doomsday, Mongul, and Darkseid. A solar array, capable of simulating yellow sun radiation to strengthen Superman, or red sun radiation, to weaken any potential Kryptonian opponents, like General Zod and the criminals of the Phantom Zone. A built-in boom tube projector, Gifted by the new gods of New Genesis, which allows for instantaneous transport throughout the galaxy. Anti-gravity lift units, provided by Adam Strange and the scientists of the planet Ran. The cockpit of the Jogger 2.0 can comfortably sit this 118th scale Superman figure, but with a little finagling, it can also fit the Superman figure from the McFarlane Superpowers toy line. And since the McFarlane Superpowers figures are slightly larger than the original Kenner versions, I'm sure you'd also be able to fit an original Kenner Superpowers Superman into that cockpit as well. Superman is now able to take on all manner of threats in his new mech suit. Villains beware! And that's it for this video and my reveal of my Justice Jogger 2.0. 
With apologies to Grindhead Jim, I just had to do it. As I said earlier, the custom Chapmay Mech Contest will be happening over on Wilhelm Toy and Hobby. The time and date is going to be on the screen right now, and I will leave a link to that stream in the description of this video. So please go check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.